Well, hi again. As I don't think I've got much time left on my um, camera without uploading it. I just went into the kitchen and the big computer died. It only has a certain lifespan and it just turns itself off. This is what I got um, yesterday. It's called Crochet Shawls. It's um, not by anybody in particular. I think it's by different people. I think, I think, I'm not sure. There's usually a, a, an intro, isn't there? Of who it's by, who it's... Oh, it just says printed in China. Printed in China. But it's got English. But usually it says who prints it, doesn't it? This material originally appeared in the books, the Granny Square book and other books. Oh, so it's like a compendium, isn't it, of different books. So I can't really tell you who made it, who did it, but it's called Crochet Shawls. Complete instructions for eight projects. So. Right, the first one is the Glitzy Wrap. They do show them like this in the glitzy stuff, and then on a lot of them they do show the actual stitch done a bit closer to. Yeah, let me cover it up. See the show the stitch closer to. That's a wrap. No, it's a wrap, that's a wrap. This is called the Delicate Web Wrap. That's pretty. It's spider web. A small alternating shell pattern in the shoulder wrap. Looks like vintage lace, he said. Made of lightweight microfiber yarn. The wrap is not only ultra soft and feminine, but it's also warm. Again, you get the close-ups of the patterns, the pattern stitches, which is quite good. This one is the double up wrap. I've actually got some yarn very similar to this upstairs. It's that's the beep beep beep. Sorry, it's 25 minutes. It's like a ladder, ladder yarn. This is the sherbet triangle wrap. Oh shush. That's the stitch again. That's what I think is called the cross hatch stitch, I'm not sure. This is the Devon cross shawl. That one there. It's not done in squares by the way, I don't think. Oh yes it is, hang on. Make 20 Devon Cross squares and assemble as follows. I don't mind squares, I just don't like circles. That's the Pineapples and Shells capelet. It's a fine, you know, summer capelet just to put over your shoulders if you're wearing a, you know, a strappy dress or something and it goes a bit chilly in the evening. And this one is um, a butterfly garden two-way shawl. The fact that it's a two-way shawl is the fact that it's long like that. Woo but you can also put armholes in so I suppose you could wear it as a shawl or you could put your arms through it and wear it as a uh, what do you call it, like a waterfall cardigan? Or you can wear it woo, cover up the instruction like that. That's again it's done in squares. I don't mind squares don't like circles. And that one's called the Popcorns and Lace Shawl. Again it's squares that you just put together in like a V shape. Well that might get done one day. <laughs> Sue's not seen these books yet so I'd like to know what her, her thoughts are when they, you know, she looks at them. So uh, I think that's all I've got around and about, actually, without going into a book. I've got this book around, but as you can see, it's a very big book. So I'll need to recharge my batteries before I start on that one. And this is a Kristin Omdahl. She does love her light, her fine yarn, this Kristin does. You know, it's like, eek. <laughs> 
Anyway, oh, I've got a little booklet with one of the magazines, I can't remember. It just says, so much yarn, so little time. It's just a little note -lit book, which are always handy to pop in your bag when you're out and about and you need to write some instructions down for something. Yeah, so that's um, that's it for now. Um, probably be maybe tomorrow if they everybody goes out. But I'll do the Christian Omdahl book and I've got another couple of magazines to show you as well. And maybe I might have actually done a bit more on my crochet. Mm, fingers crossed. You never know. Anyway, goodbye for now. Goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye for now. <laughs>